Welcome to X-Ray Review. This video is about the most common benign tumor of bone being the osteochondroma. A benign osteochondroma is a bony outgrowth or a bony exostosis. It's like a small bump that originates from the metaphysis and pokes out from the bone. An osteochondroma is the most common benign bone tumor, and it accounts for approximately 35% of all benign bone tumors. There are two different types of osteochondromas, sessile and pedunculated. Sessile is like a small hill versus pedunculated, which is like a cauliflower-like stalk or a mushroom cap. Um, I always thought of it as if you could tie a piece of imaginary string around it and it would stay. It's most likely pedunculated. If it fell off, that would be sessile. Not everybody likes that, but it helped me remember it. An osteochondroma is going to originate from the metaphysis of the bone. If you think of your long bone anatomy with your diaphysis, and epiphysis, metaphysis, these originate from the metaphysis. It's a herniation of the physis. So you'll see these start around these pink regions. If it's epiphyseal, it's a different type of tumor. Another characteristic of an osteochondroma is it's going to point away from a joint, not towards a joint. It's going to point away from the joint. And of course, this is in the pedunculated variety of an osteochondroma. There can also be a cartilaginous cap that's associated with osteochondromas. Not always, but uh, there can be a malignant potential. 99% of these are going to be benign, but in the rare chance a malignancy does occur, it usually will occur around this cartilaginous cap. And this region is going to be best evaluated on advanced imaging such as MRI. All right, so let's take a look at this first case of a benign pedunculated osteochondroma. This is a textbook example of a pedunculated osteochondroma with a nice visible stalk arising from a common location being the distal medial femoral metaphysis. On the lateral view, we can see the posterior projection of this osteochondroma. The most common location to see an osteochondroma is going to be about the knee. Whether it's the distal femur or proximal tibia, both are extremely common locations. This osteochondroma is really small, so if you feel comfortable seeing this, you should be able to see it in any other skeletal location. Here's a frontal view of the knee. Zoomed in, we can see this small osteochondroma at the medial femoral condyle. And since they're so common, here's one more example at the knee. This pedunculated osteochondroma is located at the proximal tibial metaphysis. On this lateral view of the knee, we can see a large pedunculated osteochondroma pointing away from the joint. Since these lesions are herniations of the growth plate growing in an abnormal direction, once the patient reaches skeletal maturation, they'll stop growing in size. They can be removed for cosmetic or mechanical reasons if there's pain or clinical symptoms associated with them. This is a pretty big osteochondroma at the proximal femur, and it demonstrates a good example of the calcific matrix. Look how patchy and heterogeneously dense the lesion is. And again, that's the calcific matrix to this lesion. The medial proximal humerus is another common location to see osteochondromas. I think I would classify this as pedunculated as opposed to sessile. This is a flexion view of the cervical spine, and I'll give you a second to look at it uh, and try to find the osteochondroma here. As we zoom in, you'll see the bony exostosis projecting superiorly off this spinous process. 
This is an interesting case of a male with multiple osteochondromas. Note the mass effect that this large expansile osteochondroma is having with the adjacent ribs. There's also a small sessile osteochondroma at the medial aspect of the proximal humerus. This is a 27-year-old patient who presented with neurologic symptoms and radiculopathy. And on the frontal and lateral lumbar radiographs, you'll see a large expansile lesion projecting off the posterior elements in L3 vertebral body. And this is a spinal osteochondroma. And because of where it is, uh, these can be um, more symptomatic and, of course, have a uh, effect on the adjacent spinal canal exiting nerve roots and these have a higher chance of being surgically removed and in this case this patient did have this osteochondroma surgically removed this is a 34 year old male who presented with a progressively worsening scapular pain wasn't getting better with conservative treatment and that's what prompted the radiographs You will note an osteochondroma in the mid portion of this patient's scapula, but in the adjacent soft tissues, there's this calcific density. And um, with advanced imaging, there were actually some aggressive findings, and this patient had this surgically removed. So I can't make a video on osteochondromas with at least showing one case of hereditary multiple exostosis or HME. And this is a hereditary condition where patients present with multiple osteochondromas throughout the spine and appendicular skeleton. These lesions tend to be larger, more expansile, with a higher probability of malignant degeneration. The large expansile changes in the hips are very classic with hereditary multiple exostosis and um, I'll make a video on this at a later date. I have so many cases of it. Um, it'll be a whole video. All right, let's try a couple questions. An osteochondroma typically originates from the epiphysis, physis, metaphysis, diaphysis, or apophysis. The correct answer is metaphysis. Which of the following is a common complication of a large pedunculated osteochondroma? And really, D, pathologic fracture. It's going to be the only good one. Some of the other things that could happen, uh, mass effect on adjacent structures, neurologic issues, uh, malignant degeneration, and then again, path fracture. The term that best describes this lesion is malignant, fibrous matrix, pathologic fracture, sessile, or pedunculated, and this would be pedunculated. An osteochondroma typically projects in which direction in relation to the joint or epiphysis? Towards, away from, into, between, or nowhere near? And the correct answer here is it projects away from the joint or epiphysis. All right, well, hopefully you enjoyed looking at some of these osteochondromas. Again, I'll make a separate video on hereditary multiple exostosis. And uh, if you have any other specific radiographic topics you'd like a video on, uh, please comment, let me know. And if you like the video, please like and subscribe. Thanks.